welcome you to RESTful web server customer and try to using the SSL connection and connect to unit data server this YouTube video just explain how to set up the SSL connection on working uh, RESTful web server so uh, on the RESTful web server SSL connection they have two part the first part is relate to you to rest server rest for server um, on the JD HTTP server the second part is from the you to rest for web server connect to unit data server or universe server using the U2 JPA so they have two different setup step to using the complete SSL connection. The first part uh, just working on a JT, JD HTTP server SSL connection. So uh, on, on my demo, I already created uh, uh, one uh, RESTful server on my local machine. On this machine, uh, you can right click and set up the uh, SSL connection and you will require one uh, JKS the key store to contain a PKSS format uh, certificate. The next part is related to from the U2 RESTful web server connect to U2 database and it will require another setup. Uh, it will also relate to uh, one Java key store uh, for my demo, I, I use in two complete set, setup step. So, when you try to set up the SSL environment, you will require some key tool or open SSL uh, environment. So, I can uh, use many uh, different uh, open JDK uh, environment. Uh, for my testing, uh, I using uh, OpenLogic, OpenJDK 1.8 version. They have multiple version already available. I uh, download the uh, particular uh, 1.8 uh, MSI uh, because it's easy to install. Uh, when you install it, uh, you will install on the program file folder and also uh, set the path. So, after you install it and it can easy to use it. So when you after install it, uh, you can uh, type in the Java version, you should see the one that is zero, or maybe you, you will install the different version on your environment. So first you want to uh, require particular cell uh, science certificate or you have already have a CSI certificate. So for my demo, I will show you if you don't have any uh, certificate, you can try to get the CSI certificate. So they have a several different ways to get the CSI certificates. Uh, one, you can, if you're familiar with the XMN tool, you can uh, create a CSI certificate, or you can use another tool from you from a YouTube client called SSL setup tool, it will also generate the sales sign certificate. For this demo, I will using a very simple called basic program called create uh, underscore CRT test X uh, program. Uh, basically, it will create a sales sign certificate with the private key. Uh, if you uh, have some issue and you can uh, basically you can use in uh, Java key tool uh, to generate the uh, uh, sale sign certificates. So uh, uh, on this, I will also explain uh, on the, we have uh, some issue on Unidata Universe. Uh, for this demo, uh, Unidata uh, on after 821, if you create a sale sign ticket, sales and certificates uh, you cannot convert to PKCS format so in this case you must be using the Java key tool to generate the sales and certificate 
So on the early unit version 8.1, uh, you can create a, a basic uh, program uh, to generate the cell science certificates. I will uh, put this program in my YouTube uh, channel so you can uh, very easy to download it and to create it. So when you try to uh, create a cell science certificate using the unit A24, uh, when you try to uh, import the PKS uh, key store to JKS uh, key store, uh, you will get an error, like uh, uh, invalid IC private key. But if you create a cell science certificate on the same program, uh, you were eight to one. Uh, you were successful to create called, uh, my Java key store, uh, uh, Java key store, uh, JKS. So it will be very easy to should be Java key store JKS. So it can easy to use to work with the YouTube RESTful server. In other ways, uh, if you have some issue, you can create uh, another cell science certificate uh, using the key tool. Uh, I will put the step-by-step -step to show you how to generate this uh, cell science certificate. So after you got the cell science certificate, uh, you need to uh, extract the private key from a uh, PKCS trapped uh, key store to get the private key. Then, and after get the private key, then you can uh, import uh, this the private key to the JKS key store with the PKCS format certificate. Then you can use in key to another key to a command to minus list to show you uh, this the uh, key tool. Uh, for this one, is only uh, generates one certificate in this key, key, tool, uh, key store. So after you uh, create a, a key store with the one cell sign certificate, then you can, uh, on YouTube REST for web server, uh, you can start with SSL with this the JKS key store. A setting. I, I will show you on my demo. The next step after uh, JD, H, JD HTTP server with SSL connection successful, then you want to uh, set up the uh, unit data site uh, SSL environment. Uh, for this part, the second part SSL connection. Uh, you can use in the XMN tool or using the uh, another tool called uh, SSL setup tool or you can use in the uh, simple ba another basic program to create cell sign certificates or create the SCR and set up the dot uh, unit securities then you can after uh, you create a cell sign certificate then uh, for my demo called SSL test SCRT, you need to download to your YouTube RESTful server. So after you set it up correct, then you can set up the uh, database SSL connection using SSL and uh, using new create the JKS uh, key store. Uh, you can make a connection. So. And another thing is talking about uh, you need to have an issue for SSL. You can try to turn on the unit data or universe, unit object uh, server logging. So it's very, very easy to uh, create it on the unit data home or universe home to create a server debug file uh, with the one line uh, called UTCS 10 and put on the t log file in the 10 folder. So every SSL connection should be generated uh, to lock on the, your server side for SSL connection. So uh, we also have a one issue for right now for U2 RESTful 450. So uh, 
for you to rest for server version if 450 you only can work with key store with the one sales uh, one certificate you have multiple certificate uh, you might get the error uh, most of the uh, customer want to import the certificate to the Java uh, default key store and uh, when they install there you try to set it up you will get this error this key store with the multiple certificate is not support on U2 RESTful 450 but it's working fine on the 441 and should be uh, working fine on next 461 so next I will uh, demo one by one to show you how it works so first uh, you want to uh, install the open logic uh, JDK environment so this one uh, I will show you I already installed it so after you install it uh, you can s uh, show you your environment like a Java version so I have installed it is 1.8.0 uh, also have open SL version uh, install on my client machine so after you do this uh, also you can download the uh, sample basic program uh, I call uh, create search uh, test X so I already have uh, this the environment is the uh, unit data a24 on my environment and I have program uh, call so it is the program AE BP so this is the simple program to create a cell sign certificate in the uh, CRTS folder and uh, basically they have three steps uh, create the private key and public key and also create a request and create a uh, certificate so after I can run from here to regenerate uh, the cell sign certificate after you run it uh, I will be uh, generate the certificate uh, in the cell sign certificate in this folder uh, it will call uh, this program it will be called you see a uh, program called test okay uh, here is called test X uh, certificates um, private key and public key and request in this folder so if if you have uh, create a certificates so I on the server this on the server machine but my machine server climates on the same box uh, I also install on the U2 rest for uh, 450 on my local machine so I can uh, create uh, two working on the this folder so the folder will be So basically I can copy uh, to this folder so when you create the uh, test X cell sign certificates and uh, private key public key and request so for this one I uh, you need to convert the private key to PKSS format so that's the syntax so I need to simple using a same password so after you create it uh, you will create called key store uh, dot p12 is the pkss format key store so uh, after you get this one and you can also and using another key to a command to create this the call uh, jks format so password so 
So you see this kind of error. Uh, I already on the demo to explain it because this one is from the unit data A24. Uh, if it cannot convert the uh, cell science certificate to PKCS tri format. So if I using the uh, another A21 to create the cell science certificate, then I can uh, convert to generate this. So this one, I do the same thing for a conversion. So it will convert it uh, to uh, keystore.p12. Then I can use in uh, same thing for key tool. So already there, it's fine. I can override, yes. So override it. So basically, it will create call uh, my Java, uh, my Java keystore.jks. So this one, it can be using on the uh, YouTube RESTful web server SSL connection. So if you already uh, installed the latest uh, unit data server on your environment, you don't have uh, A21 on early unit data version, then you have a you must be using another auction called using key tool uh, to generate. But this one, I already have a, a key tool to create a sales science certificate. So I want to use an, uh, another test folder. It's no, uh, no any sales science certificate here. So I can use in the uh, key tool command. Here's the key to command. So I can. So this I can. First name, last name. Um, I put the organization. The two. Uh, you can put the rocket. Okay. And put the CD. I put the state. Yes. Uh, yes. So. So you will generate uh, the key store called my key store that JKS is the. So after you create it, uh, you might be want to uh, check this key, key store. You can use in key tool minus list command to see uh, it will in this key tool, uh, key store, it will contain one cell sign certificate. So if you get this one and you want to convert uh, this the JKS, uh, the JKS format to a PKCS format. So this is the syntax. So generally, uh, you will generate like uh, my certificates is a PKCS format. So after this format, then you want to uh, retreat the your private key because you will need the private key setting. Passwords. So you get the uh, paint. This is my cell site uh, private key. So after you create it, and you want to create the JKS format uh, key store. So after you are uh, using this so you can have a call test restful.jks. So after this one, 
and you can uh, your YouTube RESTful can work with the new just recreate the key store so uh, first uh, go back to the RESTful so right now the RESTful if you look at this one the pro uh, let's the RESTful web server you can look at the property so right now it's next you will know SSL so if I star uh, RESTful web server without any SSL so if you go to S state so you see the, uh, the URL as HTTP and to get this the link so this one is without uh, RESTful so without S So from this one, and I want to set up SSL part, so I can stop the RESTful. So we we'll start it, and next, I want the property. Uh, from this, we can next. This time I want to set up uh, using the RESTful. So we already create the uh, CKS. So basically, you can go to um this the setting up uh using uh, we said uh, using key tool or using a to one for a uh, key tool so we can use in the test restful jks okay this one so using this one and uh, with the password sure p a So this time, I want to stop RESTful web server with SSL. But this one, SSL, is just for uh, HTTP uh, JD server. So if you look at the state, uh, you will see the uh, HTTPS, the syntax, is the RESTful uh, server. So next step will be uh, set up the unit data site so this one i want to uh, stop it stop restful okay so the second part you need to set up the uh, unit data server sso environment so uh, come back to uh, unit data server so unit data i have another program called uh, create scr tool This program is just very similar like a previous before, but it will also create the SCR record. So it will create the SCR handle. So when you run this, so you will create the uh, SCR. So this SCR, uh, S E C U C T X. So you will generally SSR test that SCR on the uh, client machine, uh, on the server machine. So after you create, and uh, also uh, you need to, you will create a cell sign certificate and also create the SCR. Then you need to uh, manually to update your, uh, the server uh, the .unit security so for the .net security file folder it will be on my machine called .unit share 
they have folder called that unit security so that's the setting for .NET U2 security so first one you need to set up the UDCS then the uh, SCR called SSL test.scr and I using uh, this the password called my password so after you set it you need to uh, generate the uh, key store uh, import the sales sign certificate to the local uh, key store so uh, for my testing I already uh, put it on the uh, this key store called uh, key U2 key store U2 key store UD and the uh, using the same command uh, from a unit data server called U2 key store so after you get this to key store set up on your RESTful web server so I can uh, set up the RESTful server so next one uh, you will relate to a database one another database have another SSL setup so here uh, I, I want to set up the next so I want to set up the U2 SSL so here I can uh, this will be CR key uh, U2 key store to key store so that's the U2 key store I will be my password Passwords. So that's a two part setup. First part is for HTTP server, the second part is for uh, for database SSL connection. So this time if if I start the RESTful server so when you connect to the same thing for SSL so you will see uh, the SSL so if you already have set up the uh, unit data server login so for example you have already set it up on my machine uh, let's my machine set it up uh, it will be YouTube uh, demo uh, UD82 so they have already have a uh, login so that's the setup for a uh, server debug login so after you set it up I already um, create the log file on the server side so on the temp uh, it should be on the TMP folder so you will create the two log files so for here you will see uh, for the regular connection also have a SSL connection so if you open uh, the SSL connection so you will see uh, SSL trace a connect IP successful so SSL binding is okay So they just complete from the uh, the the client and connect to the HTTP server and then connect to unit data server uh, complete uh, successful. So uh, the next we're talking about uh, is the one particular issue for uh, U2 RESTful. So 450 issue 
So for this one, uh, they have another issue. So I, I need to uh, stop it. Stop RESTful. So after uh, uh, most of the customer maybe want to uh, want to import the issue, your the the PKS the sales side a certificate or CSI certificate to uh, your uh, your the Java default key store. So where's the Java key store? So we can uh, show you for Open Logic. Uh, for the Open Logic, yes, Open Logic. For my installation is uh, is program file. So if you go to the here, uh, program file, uh, Open Logic. Uh, I have a ma multiple of Java installation. I right now using this one, and this one will be uh, GRE, the bin uh, library. Uh, security. So it will be this is the default uh, Java key store. So when I uh, want to uh, install uh, install so here the step to install if you have so I want to import the crystal format that's the command It's not correct syntax. So try one more time. So the the key store, uh, the default Java is called change it. The source key store will be a uh, password uh, override it, yes. So we install uh, f for install list the uh, uh, sales sign certificate certificate to uh, key store, the Java default key store. So after you insert it, then I want to uh, start it uh, with the different uh, key Java key store. So you can see I want to use in this uh, key store in the uh, Java key store. So this one will be uh, open logic. Program file. Open logic. The eight and JRE library security. I want to do this. Uh, the key store will be changed. Key store. And password key is the password password. So, so for this, when you try to start it, it won't be allow you to start it. So you still fail. If you're looking for log file, the log file on the when you start the uh, YouTube REST for uh, log file will be YouTube REST uh, here. That's the log file.
in the log file you will see uh, this key store with the multiple error so this one uh, is just for particular for uh, U2 REST 4450 version have a problem uh, hopefully we can uh, fix on the next release so thank you for your watching and uh, hopefully and see you next time